Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And what I'd like you to do is write in words this decimal. Okay, so here we have a decimal value. Write this out in words. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, kind of think of this uh, for those of you out there, and I'm probably dating myself because uh, what I'm uh, kind of sketching out here is an actual check. Okay, now what is a check? Well, it's these things that we used to use way back in the good old days before all this electronic banking and whatnot. And you would put a certain amount here. You know, you'd be like, okay, this is $70.28. And then you would actually have to write, and you still have to do it right there. You have to write this actual amount. This is kind of the proper way to fill out a check. So, uh, this is kind of what I'm getting at, but for those of you that are studying basic mathematics, whether you're going to be writing a check or not, you still need to be able to interpret decimals and translate them into words. It's very, very important, and I'll get into uh, kind of the main topic that I want, I'm kind of discussing here. But if you know how to write this decimal as a word, and I don't want you to use the word point, by the way, I should make that clear. Do not use the word point, okay? Uh, so in other words, uh, well, I'll just write this as 56.231. That is not an acceptable answer, okay? So what am I talking about? Well, I'll tell you in a second, but if you know how to write this decimal in words, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one moment, and then I'll show you how easy it is to do this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 56.231. Of course, that is an, uh, an acceptable way to describe this uh, decimal, okay, but that is not the question. We want to write this in words. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So 56.231 is the same thing as 56 and 231 thousandths. Okay, so this was what I was looking for. So 56 and 231 thousandths. Now, if you got this right, that is super exciting. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%. And multiple stars, so you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about place value. Okay, that's what we're talking about here, place value. All this stuff that we learned way back in elementary school that most of us have forgotten. And why would you forget this stuff? Well, because we just don't use it as much, right? As you progress in middle school, high school, and college math, we have our lovely calculators. And as long as we know how to describe a decimal, like, oh, that's 56.231, that's fine. Probably you're not going to say that as, oh, this is 56 and 231 thousandths. But it's important that you're able to translate a decimal into words using place value, especially if you want to convert uh, that decimal into a fraction. Okay, so these are skills that you still need to hold on to. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about how to do this. And this, this is just a quick, quick uh, refresher. Now, I'm going to explain this, but if you need more help, like really, you know, uh, want to review basic arithmetic, arithmetic, place value, all, you know, decimals, uh, percent, fractions, I'm going to strongly suggest that you check out my Math Foundations course. It's a little mini course. It's a three-chapter mini course. Uh, and so for those of you that are trying to get back into mathematics or needs you know, like a quick refresher, on all those arithmetic skills, check out that course. It's got great reviews. It won't take you too long to get through, but it will kind of, you know, brush off, uh, brush off all the cobwebs with all these basic math concepts that most of us have forgotten. All right, so let's take a look at this decimal. We have 56.231. Now, what we need to look at is the uh, digits to the right of the decimal point. Okay, so this two is in the tenths place. Okay, this three is in the hundreds place, and this one is in the thousands place. That's what we need to know. So because this decimal ends at this place value, the thousands, okay, we'll describe it as uh, uh, using thousands, okay, so 231 thousands. If you had, uh, let's say, uh, 8.2, this is what? That's two tenths, uh, two three, this would be 23 hundredths, right? 231 is 231 
thousands. Okay, so again, we're talking about place value, but um, you know, there's other things that you'll want to kind of brush up on in terms of place value. But if you understand this, I think you got the basics. So what we're going to uh, do here when we write this out is we're going to say 56 and 231 thousandths. Can we always look at that uh, last digit and see what places, uh, what place it's in, and uh, of course write it out. And if you made any typos in here, I'm a terrible speller, uh, hence why I like mathematics, <laughs> you know. But if you, you know, misspelled the words, that doesn't really count. Okay, as long as you knew that you wanted to say thousands, that's what, uh, you know, I would be perfectly uh, happy with that if you turned in that on a test or quiz. So here we go. We got uh, 56 and 231 thousandths. Now, I don't want to minimize spelling, especially on a check, right? So when you're writing those checks out there, uh, you know, and for those of you that um, just got a little side uh, comment here on checks, you know, do you still use checks? OK. And uh, unfortunately, I think in today's age, you know, uh, checks are kind of going away. You know, they're, you know, checkbooks and things like that are not used as much as they um, once were. They're, they're still out there, but you need to know how to properly fill out a check and knowing how to write things using place values is important. Okay. So anyways, whether it's writing a check or passing your basic arithmetic uh, math test, whatever it is, you need to know a thing or two about place value. Okay. So if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.